Good evening, evening and everyone. welcome to our Tuesday yes. evening devotion. devotion. All right, so uh, I'm live na live po tayo ngayong gabi. No? My, my name is Ken. I'm one of the staff here in Victory Quezon Avenue. And together with... I'm Doyle, one of the campus missionaries here in Victory Quezon Avenue. Yes. And we'd like to welcome everyone here in our Facebook Live in our Tuesday Evening Devotion. So, unahin na nating batiin ang ating senior pastor nandito yes. watching. Yes. So, welcome Pastor Noel. Nandito rin sila. Good evening, Pastor Noel. Sylvia. Yes. Yeah, nandito rin sila. Eva, good evening sa yes. inyo. Good evening, welcome. Eva. Good evening, uh, Sylvia. Thank you for watching. And also, for those of you who are uh, not yet commenting or sending a comments to our comment sections no you can still do so or you can tag your friends you can share this live stream so uh, your friends your family members your relatives can also be blessed by uh, what we're going to talk about tonight kasi very exciting yung topic natin yes, right go so, ahead and invite them tag your friends and send natin sa mga group chats natin itong ating live stream aha uh-huh, yes and of course doyle balita ako Alert level 1 na tayo. Yes, diba? just in. Yeah, yeah, just, just in, di ba? Just diba? in. Yeah, Alert level 1 na tayo. Starting today, March 1 to March 15, we're pro- progressing na yung ano natin, guidelines and yes. protocols natin. And most establishments actually sabi, pwede na mag 100% full capacity. Oh. Ano kaya ang apekto nito sa ating mga services? Grabe. Uh, diba? ang, the, the effects of this one, the alert level 1, uh, good news po itong para sa atin because I know uh, most of us, if not all of us, most of us, or maybe all of us, are really excited to worship God together here on site physically. Magsasama-sama na po tayo, no? So, yung mga worship services natin, uh, the pre-registration are no longer needed. Yeah. So, ano pa, ano, ano hindi mo na kailangan mag-save ng slot to yes. join our on-site services. We have our 11, our... Yes, 11. Uh, 3 p.m. 3 p.m. And, 5 and 5 p.m. So you can join us every, every Sunday. Sunday. And yeah. also Saturday, meron din tayong 11 a.m. if you're not able to join us during Sundays. Mm. And of course, if you are busy with the weekend uh, worship services that we have, we also have our midweek service, which is the Wednesday, uh, Wednesday yung worthwhile Wednesday natin. 7 uh, you, p.m. 7 p.m. You can also invite your friends kung taga rito ka sa Quezon Avenue or uh, may, maybe night person ka or you want oh, if we have people here working yes, here in centries especially mga BPOs natin join us here kung libre ka ng midweek you can join our midweek service as well syempre hindi rin papahuli ang ating mga young people yes. or students joining our Tuesday evening devotion ngayon we also have our youth service every friday here on site sa alfresco naman tayo so yeah, wow. everyone can join us 5:30 p.m. On site. Grabe nakita ko ngayon yung Doyle, no? yung, yung Alfresco natin with a bunch of young people wow, yeah. just jumping all around. Grabe, we've God. been praying for this, bro, for entire two years that we are in pandemic. Ito na, is, uh, nakikita na natin yung glimpse of what God is about to do in our church, diba? And slowly, makikita na rin natin more people coming here on site. Mm-hmm. At magbubirth na rin tayo Woo-hoo. for sure. Excited ako na. Babalik sa normal yung mga schedule ng services natin, di ba? Wow, aren't you excited uh, with that announcement? Sobrang, uh, this pandemic has uh, brought us a lot of, you know, testings and challenges in life. But how many of you believe that God is greater than those challenges that we have experienced in the past? Maybe two years na, di ba? Yung pandemic natin, two years. But uh, we have seen God's faithfulness, God's grace overflowing in our, in our lives kahit na sobrang challenging yung nung nangyari sa atin in the past, God is still able to uh, provide uh, strength and the courage and the, the grace and the faith. Lahat-lahat na. Grabe si Lord sa buhay natin, no? And, uh, yes. So, let's read some more comments, Doyle. Kasi ang dami na nag-comment dito, no? Yung mga hindi natin nabasang uh, Yan. comments. Yan. Nandito sila, Jazer, saying hi. Yes. Kuya Ken and Kuya Doyle. Makakuya ka. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, si Luz Maria Santiago uh, Lansigan. Good evening din sa'yo, Luz. And si si Ate Evelyn Morato. Yeah, hello po. Uh, good evening po sa inyo. Sino pa tong nandito? Uh, pwede nating batiin. And yes, sabi ni Pastor Noel, we're all set for the resumption of all our on-site worship service. Yes, so, I'm... watch out for more details yeah. though. 
yes, watch out. Kasi marami pa tayong balitang ibabal- yes. ibibigay sa ating church as we all welcome this new normal natin. And I love the energy of Pastor Noel no? when, when, uh, when he knew that we, we are on alert level 1. So, yeah. <laughs> alam niyo yung energy ni Pastor Noel, madadamay ka na lang talaga sa... <laughs> dami, ang dami na birth na vision today na nag-alert exact. level 1 na tayo. So excited kami na makita itong vision turn into passion and turn into reality as God yes. gives us the wisdom and guidance in uh-huh. doing this. And in line with that, uh, bro- broken, that uh, we're doing this, all of this, seeing the glimpse of the progress, seeing the glimpse of what God is bringing in our church. All of these things is because God is sovereign. God is yes. great. God is faithful. That's yeah. why in pasok na pasok yung topic natin ngayon, di ba? Yeah, the glory, uh, glorifying, glorifying God. God. Sobra. And uh, with this one, no, uh, we would like to ask you a question before we start uh, discussing this topic no, about glorifying God. Our question is, um, this is the question, and you can answer that to, you, to, the, to the comment section so we can read it all together, no? Para mabasa natin yung mga comments nyo, uh, uh, what you can you say join about this, this question. Tuesday yeah. evening devotion yes. by uh, also sharing your answers and your thoughts in the uh-huh. comment section. So kasali yes. kayo dito, ah. Okay, so the question here is, uh, why do we need to glorify God? Or why do we glorify God? Ano, uh, ano ba yung rason bakit natin ginoglorify si God? So you Yan. can uh, type your comments now in our comment section so we can read that all together. So uh, we can see all, uh, all your participation para malaman natin. So we can learn from one another also, di ba? Kung ano ba ang reason why we need to glorify God. Yes, and while we are waiting sa uh, mga answers and thoughts nila in the comment section, uh, of course, may mga young people din tayo joining today. Maybe we have to define first what is it to give glory or what is glory yeah. diba yeah. and by the definition of it kung siyempre google natin basic muna tayo it's uh, putting or uh, ano in term it's ascribing or putting ascribing. above all yeah. ganyan diba yeah. parang he, he has the highest honor and highest recognition kumbaga ito glory you know it's the first thing yes it kumbaga uh, the word glory is to exalt to to raise up to worship to praise uh, we Giving know adoration. we know what it means yeah. yeah we know what it means to glorify god uh, but the, the 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 real question is uh, in uh, in our actual lives uh, wha- how do we glorify god or uh, yung question nga po natin dito na why we glorify god in in our personal lives why do we why do we glorify god Kasi tayo po yung makakasagot nito. And uh, of course, it, it is based on our personal relationship with Him, di ba? The more, the more that we are encountering God, the more we can see and the more we can, the more it's easier, uh, it's, it's easier for us to glorify Him actually, di ba? The yes. more we know Him. Yeah. And uh, part of this, we often hear this, in, not just in the church services, but in every language of a Christian. Yeah. Give, gl- give glory to God. Pero, mm-hmm. Paano nga ba yun? And ano nga ba yung dahilan? And siguro we can start reading in the comment section. Sabi, yes, I'm so excited. Sabi this. ni Pastor Noel yan. First answer is we glorify God because He is worthy of all. Yes. Sabi niya, no? Worthy to be praised and honored. Grabe. And of course, si Ate Florence, sabi niya dito, because God is pleased when we glorify, glorify Him. Him. Wow. And uh, also, uh, at Sylvia answered that uh, we glorify God because God is holy. Yeah. I totally agree with you, Tita Sylvia. And ito, si Ate Joy, sabi niya dito, God deserves it because He is sovereign and He is ever faithful in whatever situations we, we are, are in. in. Yes, exactly. Katulad na nga po nang na-experience natin this uh, two years of pandemic, uh, we have seen uh, God move and we have seen His sovereignty and uh, His faithfulness talagang na-envelope po tayo dun sa pagmamahal ng Panginoon sa ating buhay. Kaya, grabe, I totally agree with you, Ate, Ate Joy. Um, so, Kuya Doyle. Maybe the, to elaborate or yes. found more the answers because that's true. Uh, yung mga sinabi po ng ating mga f- ng family natin the comment section. Mm, and then, last, that, last uh, comment lang, basahin natin. Sabi ni Iska Lo, Hi Iska, 
Sabi niya dito, because He is unchanging and His promises never change. Wow! Yan. Do you agree with that, as, Joel? <laughs> as we can see here, diba, we are acknowledging the attributes of God. And mostly yes. ganun, that He is holy, that He is unchanging, that He is sovereign. And part of it is, uh, really, this is how we glorify God, yeah. by acknowledging His attributes. And just like what it says in First Chronicles, just like to share, First Chronicles 16, 28 to 29, let me read this. Ascribe to the Lord, O families of the peoples, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due His name. Bring an offering and come before Him. Worship the Lord in the splendor of holiness. And as we can see, ako, I just want to share two things uh, that uh, I got from the verse. At first is ascribe, diba? the word ascribe. It's uh, putting Him all above all things. Diba? And uh, sabi dito, uh, because it is due His name. We give God all the glory because He deserves it. Tama? Yeah. Yun yung unang point. And number two is, sabi dito, we glorify God by bringing an offering. Diba? Later on, we will elaborate more of that on how mm-hmm. we can bring an offering to God as we give Him the glory. Wow, I, I totally agree with that, Doyle. And um, it's, it's, really hard, it's really easy for us to say na I glorify God. Uh, when, whenever we, alam mo yung, whenever we are, uh, tipong nasa, nasa luklukan ka ng kasiyahan mo, ng joyful moments mo, it's easier for us to glorify God. And uh, how about in those times na sobrang hirap naman ng buhay natin, how do we, how do we glorify God pa? Di ba? Parang, uh, do I need to glorify God when I'm, when I'm, when I'm sad, in when I'm in pain? When when we my family when, when we lost our loved ones when uh, alam mo yun parang I I am broken hearted my mental health is down how do uh, paano ko pa magoglorify si God di ba but uh, the katulad nga ng question what is the chief end of man the chief the chief end of man is to what glorify him and to be satisfied with him and to enjoy him forever no questions asked whether you are in the in the uh, achievement uh, uh, place in your life or the most desperate se- a season in your life, the chief end of man is to glorify Him and enjoy Him forever. It says in, in Psalm 115, it says here, Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to Your name give the glory for the sake of Your steadfast love and Your faithfulness. This is the reason why I think, uh, Doyle, no? uh, one of the reasons why we glorify God because of His steadfast love, because of His, uh, because of His faithfulness. Because, di ba, kung makikita natin from the beginning when, when God created heavens and the earth, mm-hmm. He created man yes. in His own image and likeness. So, ibig sabihin, uh, we, uh, the original design of man is to glorify Him and enjoy Him forever. That's true. But, but uh, the, the sad reality is that sin entered, sin came. Kaya nga po tayo nag, kaya na, nagka po, nagkalabo-labo and uh, what's your term na, na distort di ba yes, yung glory ni God painted yung view natin din ng glory and the purpose of us giving glory to God di ba dahil yeah. siguro isa na ring naging resulta nito is because we all had that self-centeredness selfish character di ba and we started not giving glory to God but giving glory or uh, inaangkin na natin yung glory yes, to ourselves exactly. today yeah, sobrang uh, na tainted na, distorted na to the point that we are forgetting our original design. Kasi nga, sinful tayo. So, uh, we really have to understand that we are sinful people. That none of us, uh, not even one, is uh, saved from the wrath of God. We are all destined to die spiritually forever. Eternal death. Nga, sinasabi sa Bible. That's why, uh, kung, ma- kung makikita natin uh, sobrang layo na uh, when 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 you have you have gone with your one to one diba it's an immeasurable gap yun nga yung inexplain yes. nung distance natin kay God we have an immeasurable gap hindi natin maabot si God hindi natin siya ma, ma, ma glorify with our own strength with our own ability because uh, because of sin gusto natin yung glory na sa atin yeah kasi nga yun yung human tendency we are all sinners uh, uh, we we can all see that uh, in in 
everywhere, everywhere we go, makikita natin yan, di ba? Um, ako nga lang, makikita ko po yung sinfulness ko pag may nag-cut sa akin sa traffic. <laughs> Or pag may sumingit sa akin sa pila. Parang excuse me lang, ha? Alam mo yung parang tumataas na yung, yung dugo mo agad sa mga ganung tao. Why? Because of our sinfulness. That's our human tendency. We are reacting, not, we are not responding. Yun po yung human tendency natin. Yes, right? even with the young people with us today, di ba? Talking to the next generation. Uh, as young as we are, we want to have that view of glorifying God. And ano ba yung tainted view of giving God the glory? Di ba? Yeah. As young as we are, as, siguro as a student, naalala ko nung estudyante din ako, I am a Christian. Mas, parang Christian by label. Pero I understand that I should honor Him. I should give Him. Pero parang it's hard for me because of the sinful nature to uh, honor Him with my studies. Parang hindi mo ma... Hindi, hindi, hindi lalagpas yung talagang nag-kick in yung sin, di ba? And yeah. uh, there's a form of cheating. There's form of... Uh, uh, iba yung goal and purpose mo sa buhay as a student, di ba? You've been into wrong relationships because you're now uh, distorted nga yung view natin of what, how should we honor God. And that leads us to our next question, I guess. Yes. Because uh, the sin has tainted our view of and our purpose of giving God the glory. Now, maraming bagay na naghihinder sa atin exactly. to give God the glory. That's yeah, why that's exactly. our second question. The second question is, what hinders us in glorifying God? So, uh, maybe nas- nasagot na natin ito kanina, no? Uh, it, uh, number one is, Uh, our sins, di ba? The, our, uh, our sinful nation. That, that alone hinders us in glorifying and give uh, reverence and in awe and in praise and in, uh, alam mo yun, parang in, in total surrender with Jesus Christ because of our, our sinful nation, nature. Ayaw nating mag-give up sa pinahahawakan natin sa mundo kasi masarap. Kasi pleasurable. Di ba? Anything that, that, uh, that drives us away uh, that drives us crazy here on earth na ine-exchange natin kay kay Jesus Christ because of our sinful nature and mm. that hinders us in glorifying him right Doyle? yes i agree and uh, also in the bible diba sinabi naman that the destiny of man or sabi nga in the last days it's terrible talaga because yeah. we will be lovers of selves diba and lovers of money and because Ganun pa rin. Yun yung root. Sin. Ang daming naging distraction. Why? Uh, it, maraming bagay naghihinder sa atin. Di ba? Love, love of money the car, or love of career. That all these things dapat nagbibigay ng glory kay God. Pero ito rin pala yung mga bagay na naghihinder sa atin na magbigay kay, ng yes, glory kay God. Exactly. Di ba? Yeah. And isa pang sad reality that I think we Christians, kasi I think we believe that most of our uh, Most of us here in our Tuesday evening devotion are Christians or are in the church. There's a tendency pa rin, even if we are in the church or as a Christian, yeah. may mga bagay na akala natin, nabibigyan natin ng glory si God, pero hindi pala. Diba? Na nasa atin pala yung glory. Nasa yeah. parang, it's, it, bumabalik pa rin tayo dun sa self-centeredness, yeah. self-righteousness, diba? With, siguro, for example, we thought of Uh, going to church every Sunday. Tapos, kompleto mo pa yung, yung services, di ba? Kompleto. Umaatend ka ng nine, oh. online, Inat- tapos pupunta ka on-site. Inatendan <laughs> mo na lahat. Midweek natin, Saturday natin, Friday natin. nag ka pa. Lahat ng Sunday services, di ba? And we thought na we can gain God's favor, di ba? Yeah. Lives. Akala mo, I, I'm doing this to glorify God. Pero, inside your heart, the depths of our heart, it's just minsan nagiging self-preservation siya because you want to gain the approval of God. Yeah. You want to, it's not an overflow of God's love and magnifying His glory. Mm-hmm. Diba? Kasi, siguro another point that I want to highlight is that when we give God the glory, akala natin, may binibigay tayo kay God. Diba? Yeah. But, the reality is, God's glory is complete and we're just magnifying it. Exactly. Diba? Exactly. Whatever we do in, uh, in, in church, uh, in our personal lives, in our families. It's, uh, that's why siguro, uh, hindi, though it's biblical that we give them the glory, but to understand it more, it's magnifying and uh, acknowledging the glory that He has. Yeah. Diba? Uh, exactly. So, it's like, um, it's like saying whether we glorify God or not, it's already complete. 
Yes. His, his, uh, his glory is there already. He doesn't need all of us in order for Him to be glorified. He can glorify Himself because He is God. And uh, ang ginagawa ni God is just sharing. Yeah. yeah. He's sharing the, the glory to all of us. Kaya nga katulad nga ng sinabi mo, Doyle, no? with, with your example, I have this uh, w- one personal story. No? Okay, lang ba mag-share? Uh, because uh, nasasabi natin na when, we, when I do this, I, I am giving glory to God and all that. Uh, I, when, when I was in high school, ito na, parang I think uh, medyo, medyo nasa, nasa ano ako eh, parang new, new Christian, parang newborn Christian. So, when I was in high school, I, was, I passed the audition in music ministry. So, high school po ako, no, first year high school. No? And, and, alam mo yung feeling na pag nanon ko sa music ministry, parang ang sarap sa pakiramdam and all that. Pero, uh, not, not to realize that it's the most dangerous place that I, I, can, uh, I can be with, I, I can be in, in the music ministry. Why? Because um, umakyat yung pride, umakyat yung yabang, umakyat yung lahat na ng negative negative feeling and and the the result was i was getting the glory uh yung yung ginagawa ko uh, pinapakita ko sa tao na externally i'm i'm giving glory to god but when i'm receiving that that praises from from people i am getting the glory, glory. to me pala, and no? <laughs> i realized that it was a dangerous place to be in Toto. to kaya katulad ng sinabi ng mentor ko si pastor jam he, he is always saying to me Amoy, amoyin mo lang yung glory. Kasi once na hinawakan natin yan, it's deadly. It's poisonous. It can kill us spiritually. The, the title, yeah. the platform, exactly. can give you that sense of pride. The danger talaga siya. That kailangan mo talaga ng full reliance in the spirit for you to be aware that you can be in that position. Na ikaw, yeah. ikaw na pala, na uhaw ka na pala sa glory, sa recognition. Exactly. Uhaw ka na pala sa mga bagay na to. But, yeah. good thing is one a statement that you have shared is that God has shared His glory to us. And that's uh, the picture of God redeeming us to our, to our original purpose. Yeah. Diba? To give Him the glory. Yeah. And that, that happened when He gave His Son, Jesus Christ, diba? Yeah. That uh, the highest of all, the only Son, and now his, uh, He has redeemed us through His blood, to His sacrifice on the cross. Now, by receiving and recognizing Him as our Lord and Savior, we can also now be part, or we can now always rely on the Spirit, on that power of the yes. cross. Diba? Yun na yun. Diba? Na kung tayo hindi talaga natin kaya, on our own, but He has given His Son, Jesus, for us to go back to our original purpose. To... Yeah, that's why uh, yung, yung question natin, when, when, when we understand now that, that Jesus Christ died for all of us, for our sins, for, uh, died for the pride, died for the, died for the selfishness, selfishness <laughs> yeah. the, the ambitious, um, what do you call that? Lahat na ng, ng sinful uh, nature, pagiging sinful natin, yung mga nasa puso natin, lahat na. Uh, this is the question that we can, uh, we can answer once again. Can we glorify God in all areas of our lives? Knowing that, that Christ died for us, knowing that, that we are uh, now redeemed. We, are now redeemed. We, have, we have been made righteous in His eyes. Yun nga yung sinasabi sa Bible, di ba? Because the, uh, the Bible says that uh, the wages of sin is death. Pero, buti na lang, hindi nag-end yung verse doon. Im- imagine na, no? if the verse ended there, the, for the wages of sin is death. Eternal separation from God. Forever. Eternal separation. But the verse, verse, verse continues, uh, continues, it says there, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus Christ. So I, I, I believe that uh, we can all answer this question in number three. Can we glorify God in all areas of our lives? The answer is an absolute Yes. Yes, yeah. and when we say all, it means all. Walang tira sa buhay natin na hindi pwede nating ibigay kay God or i-glorify si God. Diba? Minsan kasi, ito naman nagiging tendency natin. Yes, we glorify God, pero minsan may mga tinatago tayo sa bulsa. Yeah. <laughs> na, Lord, pwedeng ito ba akin muna? Or even in secret, the, 
alam mo naman na alam ni God but you can fully surrender these things di ba? Mm, and yeah. I believe personally we can identify it di ba? may mga times sa buhay natin that uh, it's hard for us to surrender it to God to give God the glory yun yung tanong eh in every aspect of, for example our finances yeah. nagdi-display ba yung glory ni God sa ba- sa area natin na yon or mm-hmm. students listen up di ba is it just for you to uh, spend on the things na alam mo namang hindi hindi nagoglorify si God di ba yeah. uh, maybe ano ba yung mga forms na sugal ba yan or things that you are not uh, ano ba yung mga naaddict ka ng mga bagay ganyan It, yung mga sort of those things di ba yeah Uh, and the Bible even says in 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 10, verse 31, it says here, So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it uh, for the glory of God. So everything that we are doing, uh, mapa, mapa ministry, uh, for example, mapa ministry man yan. Kasi uh, just because you are doing ministry doesn't mean that you are glorifying God. Sometimes, doing the ministry... Uh, with your 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 heart uh, y- yung yung puso natin is not right uh, we can ikaw lang makakasagot niyan uh, am i glorifying you god today when i'm for example when i'm i'm uh, volunteering in in ushering or for example when i when i am volunteering sa 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 kids church or sa music ministry am i glorifying god it's only you who can answer that kasi um uh, Sabi dito, whether you eat or drink, di ba? Uh, for example, once again, uh, for, the, for, the, for the married people, how do we treat our wives? How do we treat our husbands? Are we glorifying God in our marriages? Eh, gift ni God yung marriage natin, di ba? Or for example, sa, sa workplace natin, are, are we honoring Him in our workplace? Di ba? Or wh- whatever you do, sabi niya, uh, do all for the glory of God. Do all. How do you treat your neighbors? How do you treat your friends? How do you treat your... Uh, when someone... Ito, ito ang pinakamalupit ito. When someone are, are, are talking uh, at your back. Diba? Usong-uso yan ngayon. Mga backstabbing, mga gossiping. How do you respond? Do you respond... Uh, 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 do you respond in, in such a way that you will glorify God? Or do you, do you react? Papatulan mo yung mga sinabi nila. Yes. Diba? Kaya, uh, this, this verse is, uh, really speaks to me when, uh, when we are talking about glorifying God. Oo nga, no, in all areas of my life, am I glorifying God? Yes, in just all like er- yes, in, what in- Ate Joy has said, diba? what he has, she has shared in the comment section, if God is not the Lord of all, then He is not the Lord at all. Exactly. Parang diba? example natin yung, uh, mamahalin ko yung asawa ko ng 364 days. <laughs> Pero yung may, one day, ibigay mo na sa akin sa ibang babae. <laughs> Pwede ba yun? Pwede ba? Pwede ba? Just, uh, it's, it's a, really a good illustration that I'm, uh, we are sharing or we are illustrating when, whenever, uh, ako personally, when, whenever I'm, I'm, I'm doing one-to-one with, uh, with someone, uh, I use the marriage as an illustration of our loyalty, our faithfulness mm-hmm. to God. If I cannot love my wife 365 days, There is something wrong with me. Yes. The same thing goes with, with our spiritual lives. If, if all we say is, Lord, I will love you 364 days. Pero itong one day na to, magsugal ako, okay lang. Sige na, please. Diba? Something that we cannot surrender. Something that we cannot surrender is, uh, babalik tayo dun sa question number two, is a hindrance for us to not glorify God Agreed. in our lives. And I believe that uh, also answers our last question yeah. that uh, if we can sabi nga yes naman talaga ang sagot diba can we glorify God in all aspects the answer is yes and it should be <laughs> diba but how how do we give how? God yeah. the glory yan na dyan na tayo pa- paano in our personal lives in, as a church paano natin magagawa yan how we can glorify God Diba? Siguro, we cannot answer all. Uh, di natin may lista dito lahat ng yes. pwede natin gawin. Kasi sobrang dami. <laughs> sobrang dami diba? doon. Yeah. For you, it's personal. In your relationships, diba? in your finances, 
in your uh, konsojante ka, in your studies, di ba? Uh, it's, what are the ways you can give God the glory? And not, not just, you're not, we're not just thinking of uh, enumeration or the ways, but everything na may isip pa lang natin or action natin, kailangan nandun na agad yung mindset that am I giving God the glory? Di ba? Or ako na naman to. Sariling diskarte ko na naman to. Di ba? Kasi, alay, kailangan aware tayo eh na may enemy that leads us again to that uh, danger of uh, uh, self-centeredness and self-righteousness diba? of our sinful nature. Nire-remind tayo niya. Kailangan aware tayo. Oops! God, uh, Ikaw pa ba ito? <laughs> yeah. uh, sa'yo pa ba itong ginagawa ko? Diba? So, that's, uh, that should be our question. Every thought, every action, every speech that we are giving. Yeah, and uh, ultimately, we'll, we will go back to our original design that God created us to glorify Him and to be satisfied and to enjoy His presence for the rest of our lives. And it was fulfilled when Jesus Christ died on the cross for all of us. Kasi, uh, because of the sin, nawala, tainted, distorted yung original design. But because Jesus Christ died for all of us, then uh, the, the original design was restored. We can glorify Him. We can worship Him once again. We can, uh, we can adore Him. We can, we can, alam mo yun, parang lahat na Lord, yung um, katulad nga ng sinabi dun sa, sa, sa some of uh, the authors, they are saying that we, uh, God is most satisfied when uh, God is most glorified when we are most satisfied in Him. Yeah. So, uh, babalik tayo dun sa, sa ginawa ni Jesus Christ. How do we glorify God? It's by responding to what He has done for all of us. Yes. Ano ba yung ginawa ni Jesus Christ sa atin? He died. We don't deserve that. But Jesus Christ did it anyway because He loves us so much. That's, that's how um, I can see and that's how um, my heart will respond to him because I have a dark past. Um, this is my situation in life and yet I, I realize that Jesus Christ died for me. Jesus Christ did this for me. I don't deserve this. I deserve to die. But yet because Jesus loves me so much that he gave his one and uh, God loves, his, uh, loves the world so much that, that he gave his one and only son, then I can be uh, reassured that this faith that I have is not, is not in vain. That yeah. I can respond to glorify God. My, that I am built, I am made to worship Him in spirit and truth because that is my truth. Jesus Christ died for me. Walang ibang taong gagawa nito para sa akin, para sa ating lahat. It's only Jesus Christ who did that on the cross more than 2,000 years ago. And this is our response. How do we glorify Him? We just need to respond to what He has done in our lives. Amen. Yes, I agree. It's a picture of God displaying the greatest love through Jesus Christ. And of course, when we receive that kind of love as well, sabi ni Jesus, if you love me, you keep my commandments, right? And glorifying God as well is a picture of our obedience, of our faith and obedience to God. Right? And Dalawa lang naman ang pinaka-sinamarize niya dun eh. When he expound about obeying his commands, it's about loving God and loving others. And with that, as we picture on how we can glorify God in all aspects of our lives, is it for the love of God? Is it for the love of His people? And we believe that as we glorify God, in our lives. That should be our prayer that when we receive that greatest love, it is just an overflow in us. Na hindi natin iisipin, kumbaga hindi na siya magiging technical sa atin na glory ba to, sa akin ba tong glory? Hindi. Because the gospel is true in your life. The love of God, the love of Jesus is true in our lives. We can easily give Him the glory because it's just being an overflow sa buhay natin. Hindi siya magiging scripted, kumbaga. Diba? And I believe that today, as we talk about giving God the glory, our prayer is that we will be over- overwhelmed by His love. We will be overwhelmed by what 
God has done in our lives, by what Christ has done in our lives. And with that, we can be assured that we are redeemed in our original purpose to give God the glory. Amen. So I believe the best response for us tonight is to give Him the praise and worship that He deserves. So we will worship God together tonight. But let me pray for us first. Father, we thank You. Thank You that we see how big You are, how great You are, how faithful, how good You are in us. Lord, answering the question, why should we give You the glory? First, because You deserve it. Walang ibang kailangan or walang sino man makakakuha ng greatest adoration but only You. Second, Lord, we repent, Lord, of the times, Lord, that the view and the meaning of glorifying You has been tainted and distorted. And we had this many distractions, Lord. We had this uh, things, Lord, that hinders us to glorify You. But right now, Lord, we believe that only through Your Spirit, only through the power of the Spirit, Lord, we can be reminded, Lord, that our lives are meant to give You the glory. Salamat, Panginoon, that as we worship You tonight, we offer these songs, Lord. We offer this adoration, this praises just to You because You are great, because You deserve it. All the honor, all the praise belongs to You. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Let's worship God. You have 
Yes. 
take this time and this moment to just thank God. Even as we continue to sing this song once again, as we declare that, Lord, we stand in awe of you for everything that you have done. Lord, today I'm opening my heart. I'm surrendering everything. Maybe you're that person. There's one area in your life that you cannot surrender. This is the best moment for you to say, Lord, I surrender. I repent. Just take this time. Talk to God. the psalmist says, Lord, where there is one day in your courts than the thousands elsewhere. Lord, here we are tonight, God, declaring that we need you in our lives. That we are in darkness, Lord, apart from you. It's why, God, we need your light. your guidance Lord we don't, we don't want to do it on ourselves God and we repent God for most of the time Lord we are doing it all by ourselves by our own strength by our own will Lord this time we, we want to say God, would you be the captain of our lives once more Lord, you know every heart, God. Even tonight, God, would you breathe afresh, Lord, in every person who are watching this. Lord. Would you bring forth faith, God, new hope, new strength, for the grace for your steadfast love it truly is endures forever God thank you that's why we can sing this song because of what you have done Lord let's just sing this song once again with all of our hearts we will praise
glorify you, God, in every area of our lives. As we do it, God, we want to fix our eyes on you. We want to focus our eyes on you. Even the world says we cannot, Lord. Give us the grace, God, to focus our eyes on you. Even the world we're living, God, is hard to live. We want to fix our eyes on you. Even we face difficulties, hardships, pain. Would you give us the grace, God, to focus our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. Lord, tonight we commit, Lord, our hearts, our minds, and even, Lord, as we be in a place of total surrender, God. We say, God, you are the Lord of lords, the King of kings, the captain of our hearts, the master. Thank you, God, for tonight, for what we have learned, Lord. That as we end this online Tuesday evening devotion, God, this will transform our hearts, Lord. And we ask you, Holy Spirit, we pray that you would continue to work, Lord, in our lives as we allow you to take control of our hearts, our desires. Lord, thank you, God, for everything that you have done. Thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross. Thank you for initiating, Lord, this relationship that we have right now. And as a response, Lord, as your congregation, as your church. Thank you. We say thank you. Be magnified in our lives. Be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. 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 And amen. What a great night that we have. And grabe. Uh, this is really God's display of glory. Dito pa lang sa online devotion natin. So, kuya, may pinapabasa yata. <laughs> Yan. So, we had a fruitful night, a fruitful conversation. And I guess our viewers uh, is expecting more of this. Do you love this kind of uh, talk and conversation about yeah. how we get to know God more? Diba? So, sa tingin mo... Brother Ken, what they will expect in our Tuesday evening devotion sa mga future meetings natin? Oh, yeah. Um, uh, we're going to have uh, more of these uh, uh, sa, sa future natin. So, I, I hope that you would uh, wait for the announcement kasi who knows, uh, pwede nyo bang itype if you want this? Uh, maybe, uh, maybe in the future, this can, uh, this can birth a worship night for yes, all of us. I'm mag- excited. Pwede tayo mag-gather together here and we can worship God. Mas mag-extend pa yung worship, di ba? Uh, mas gusto natin, mas ma- gawin natin three hours yung worship. Oh, diba? so, kasi, sarap. <laughs> grabe, ilang, ilang minuto lang yung worship time natin in, in singing praises to God. Uh, naramdaman ko na. So, how much more if we, are, if we gather together, if we fellowship with face one another? Face to face. Face to face. Dito na personal natin gagawin sa, sa center natin. So, uh, watch out for that. Um, wait for our announcement. And uh, I hope that everyone can join, bring your family, bring your friends, your office mates as we uh, worship with, uh, with uh, as we worship God and worship with one another, uh, fellowship with one another. Diba, Doyle? Yes. So for now, continue to join our Tuesday evening devotion. So every Tuesday. <laughs> yes, every Tuesday, of yes. course. <laughs> it's, it's still yeah. sa- stay, same time, same Facebook page, and any, same location. Same location. <laughs> Any announcement? Yeah. Well, see you all as well in our worship services. And that's all. And yes. thank you for joining us. Goodbye, everyone. God bless. God bless.